the future world order will be decided by the war over semiconductor chips. The reason is simple, the modern world is built and run using these microchips. All modern industries depend on them directly or indirectly. Every electronic equipment used in hospitals, manufacturing equipment in factories, appliances in our kitchen, and the smartphones in your hand, all modern electronic devices have a microchip in them as the core component, including military equipment. In fact, every smart device we use today is made smart by these chips. The recent chip shortage triggered production bottlenecks in a wide range of goods and resulted in a production halt of automobiles, iPhones, gaming consoles, and other consumer electronics. Then comes the importance of digital dominance. As our civilization is getting more and more modernized every day, we are going more and more digital. Our world is defined by digital data, and advancements in data processing and AI technologies are considered the future of, well, everything. But the advancement in these modern technologies is directly dependent on the advancement of processing power, that is, the advancement of semiconductor chips. Having sufficient access to microchips is not just important for the advancement of an economy, but for the security of a nation as well. Now a tech war going on between the two largest economies in the world. China sees self-sufficiency in the technological field as a necessary condition for reaching the status of a wealthy, developed nation and a global leader in the tech industry. The United States is aiming to constrain China's technological development and retain its global tech leadership role. The semiconductor chip was invented in the United States, and the US controlled every aspect of the industry in its early stages. As the tech industry boomed, major Silicon Valley companies started to outsource the expensive task of manufacturing the chips. Today, even though the US dominates the chip design market share, one company rules the world in chip manufacturing, TSMC. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company accounts for more than 50% of the total global microchip manufacturing and more than 90% of the most advanced chips. With companies TSMC and UMC based in Taiwan, Taiwan accounts for about 63% of total semiconductor chip manufacturing and will be the geopolitical battleground for the chip war. TSMC is nicknamed the Sacred Mountain for protecting the island in Taiwan. China views Taiwan as part of its territory and has vowed to eventually unify Taiwan with the mainland using force if necessary. Taiwan, being the most dominant player in chip manufacturing, China along with the whole world depends on it and is less likely to go to war with Taiwan. Also, the US is interested in protecting Taiwan as a majority of its tech companies including Apple, Amazon, Google, Qualcomm, and Nvidia, all heavily depend on TSMC. A war in Taiwan might deprive everyone, not just China and the US, of the latest generation of chips, triggering a worldwide industrial depression. TSMC and Samsung are already capable of manufacturing 5 nanometer chips. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter, and consider a transistor as an on-off switch. Lower the size, more transistors can be packed into a single chip, which increases the processing power. A single 5 nanometer chip may contain from 50 billion to 100 billion transistors or even more. Both TSMC and Samsung have plans to start manufacturing their 3 nanometer chips in the second half of 2022. Another notable company in this industry is the Dutch company ASML, and they are the only company that currently produces the most advanced machines to create advanced chips of lower nanometers. We'll cover the semiconductor industry and companies like TSMC and ASML in future videos. In 2014, China set a goal of becoming a global leader in semiconductors by 2030, which was followed by the launch of Made in China 2025 project in 2015, aiming for greater technological self-sufficiency. This project had two primary objectives. First, the creation of national champions in the industry that could compete on a global scale and supply China's own huge demand for semiconductors. The second objective was to acquire the latest technologies through strategic acquisitions of private Chinese companies operating abroad or technologically advanced foreign companies. 
The first phase of the plan expected the Chinese suppliers to meet 70% of the country's needs in semiconductors and become a relevant component of the global chain of production by 2025. In the second phase, by 2035, Chinese manufacturing should reach an intermediate level among world manufacturing powers, having the most advanced technologies in the industries where it is most competitive. China's ambition is to become the leader among manufacturing powers by 2049 in the third phase of the plan. Chinese company Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment SMIC, has already achieved about 5% market share of global chip manufacturing, and even though it's behind the technologies developed by TSMC and Samsung, it is reportedly producing 7 nanometer chips already, and 5 nanometer chips by 2025. U.S. introduced the Creating Helpful Incentives to Produce Semiconductors for America Act, CHIPS Act, which will release $52 billion in subsidies to boost domestic semiconductor research, incentivize the construction of new semiconductor manufacturing facilities, and address the supply chain vulnerabilities. U.S. states are also trying to attract investments in chip manufacturing by providing further tax incentives. TSMC has already completed the construction of its new plant in Arizona. Intel has plans to build chip factories in Ohio, with the plan to invest up to $100 billion over the next 10 years, including an initial investment of $20 billion. Along with the issue of the China-US trade deficit, stopping China from developing and acquiring superior technology was one of the main reasons behind the start of the still ongoing US-China trade war. According to recent reports, among the 97 AI chips in public Chinese military purchase records between April and November 2020, nearly all of them were designed by US firms like Nvidia, Intel, and AMD. Since 2019, the Dutch government, in agreement with the US, has not granted a license for ASML to sell its most advanced machines to Chinese chipmakers. In 2020, U.S. banned suppliers from selling chips made using U.S. technology to tech giant Huawei without a special license. U.S. government has recently started to put restrictions on companies like NVIDIA and AMD on selling advanced chips for artificial intelligence use to China. The CHIPS Act will also add certain restrictions on companies that receive federal funding under the Act from conducting business in China for 10 years. When the war in Ukraine started, one of the primary goals of Europe and the US was to deprive Russia of access to the chips it required to build aircraft and missiles or to modernize its economy. As Taiwan also joined the sanctions, China quickly became an alternative supplier for Russia. Today, military, economic, and geopolitical power are built on a foundation of computer chips. The chip shortage affected many industries and is expected to take about two years to recover. But this tech cold war may take things in a different direction. Restrictions on companies might reduce their profit, which in turn can increase prices. At the same time, increased competition fueled by government incentives may result in better prices as well. One thing is sure, semiconductor chips and advancement in this technology are critical for humanity.